Hey guys, welcome back to the lovely channel, Ryan Makes Sense. We are going to do a two-part series to cap off the year 2023. How crazy has 2023 been, huh? Think about it. Interest rates, inflation, stocks, gains, losses, speculation, Sam Bankman fried Anyway, this two-part series includes, number one, looking at the most insider buys uh, in the stock market. And the part number two, uh, we'll be looking at the most insider sales. So uh, I'm not familiar with this website. We're going to go through it together. I'll spend about 10, 15 minutes looking at some stocks, looking at some charts. Uh, I'll provide the link to you guys. And uh, yeah. Let's get going. All right, we are on a website I've never heard of before. It's called openinsider.com forward slash screener if you are interested. Um, I don't recall what exactly I typed into Google. I think I typed in top insider buying 2020, no, top insider buying for the year. So let me just move this, not me, let me move the screen over. That's good. And I'll move my head right there. Perfect. Okay. And maybe I can blow it up a little bit. Um, yeah, you guys can see the stock symbol right here, this column. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So uh, looking here, it looks like I just want to make sure. So I have this based off of trade value. So the trade value is in this column right here. We can see two billion one hundred and forty-seven million by James F. Worth for ticker symbol IHT. Let's take a peek at ticker symbol IHT. Finviz. And we are going to the world's greatest website, finviz.com. And you guys cannot really see this. Uh, let's take a look at this stock. Why don't we? All right, you can see it now. Okay. So um, this is a penny stock. Market cap is $12 million. That is nothing. Uh, just looking at the high level stuff, this is good right here to see. <clears throat> we can see the stair step up. Shares outstanding is going down. Natural organic purchasing from uh, institutions, hedge funds, and retail investors. They do have a dividend. They declared their 53rd dividend. Should they be paying a dividend? I don't think so. Uh, also, this is beautiful as well because they started out negative 1.31, negative 0.19, negative 0.18, positive 0 0.03, positive 0 0.06. So it went like this. Whoop. This is going like this. So they're profitable. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay, so they said the CEO bought six, no, two billion. I don't understand where they're getting two billion, but let's we'll we'll look further. I want to I want to see what the actual price of this stock is. Uh, let's look at their debt really quick because I'm a little skeptical. Total assets seventeen million. Total liabilities thirteen million. Where's the total debt? Total debt's twelve million. So they they make seven million. But they have 12 million in debt. They're they're surviving. I wouldn't say they're thriving. The stock, it doesn't look like they have completed a um, reverse split. So wow, this stock goes all the way back to holy cow. 1983? what that's amazing uh and the stock price is almost 20 bucks so you know what we need to do 
we need to take this seriously. And I need to look at this on the yearly, the yearly chart to see what the momentum looks like because this could be something great. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in the background. So I if I normally were to look at this as a potential investment, I would pass only because their sales. Well, I let's see. Yeah, their sales plus their cash would be nine million. Total debt is twelve million. So I would take the total cash minus the debt, and I would be at a negative number. So um, yeah, I'm I would I'm gonna advise myself not to. not to look at it from that perspective. They're obviously using debt in a way to grow. Um, they're slowly addressing their debt. They're paying shareholders. Should they be paying shareholders? Questionable. Uh, I do wanna see what institutions and hedge funds are doing here. So let's just take a peek. Ooh, all right, uh, you guys can see my screen. Look at this little, this little doo -doo -doo right there. That is optimism. JP Morgan Chase sold out Renaissance Technologies. Renaissance Technologies is always early to the party. So they bought November 14th. Uh, okay, so they bought, um, sorry, I'm just signing into my thinkorswim really quick. Okay, so yeah, they, they purchased the stock around $1.30, $1.20. All right, and my code. Perfect, okay, Thinkorswim is opening now. We're gonna look at IHT. So if that looks cool, except I don't see where the six billion comes in. Let me actually just double check here. Yeah, I don't see any um, filings or table that shows 10% ownership plus. So I don't know where that two billion dollar came from. James F. Worth. What if I type his name? Let's see. Did he invest billions into something else? No. Nope. Just here. So I don't know what this website is uh, going off of, honestly. Um, then we have Lucid, which is showing trillion billion billion okay so yeah i i'm not interpreting this uh website correctly let's group by let's see owned i can't do owned all sectors yeah i i can't Figure out max results we want to be max. So it's showing the top 1,000. So again, apologies if you guys are seeing any delays here. Uh, so again, we see IHT, Lucid, MYOV, Symbiotic. Symbotech, sorry. Occidental Petroleum, Summit Therapeutics. Occidental Petroleum shows up quite a lot. Um, let's also check Lucid, I guess. Let's see what Lucid's doing, LCID. All right, and before we do, let's just uh, look at IHT. All right, 
right, so it actually looks like IHT is facing downward momentum at the moment. And let me show you. Right here, we can see it's going down. But I mean, it could flip up at any time. Let's look at the monthly really quick and see if the monthly momentum is on our side here. Someone bought 274,500 shares. That's crazy. Okay, the monthly momentum is on our side actually here. So right here you can see it's kind of, I don't wanna say head and shoulders, but this area is the left shoulder, the head, right shoulder, potentially going up. So I do like this on the monthly, and um, if this were a trade, don't fall in love with it. Trade it for potential gains, yes, but long term, we'd have to see some significant growth and uh, changes. So, yeah. Okay, uh, let's now look at Lucid. This was another stock that had a lot of insider buying. Uh, they made six hundred eight million last year, but they're losing two point six billion. That's a recipe for disaster. That that equation will never work. You make six hundred million, but you're losing two point six billion. The math don't math. Um, yeah, it looks like they're also doing some form of dilution right here. You can see there was one point six billion, then there was one point eight billion shares. These could be locked up shares that became released. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, do your own research on this one. They're obviously turning the ship around. Oh my gosh. No, someone did buy 1.8 trill, no, that's billion, $1.8 billion worth, crazy, at 683. Oh my God. Like, is Lucid gonna be around in five, 10 years? If yes, think about it. I mean, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Uh, why they're losing so much money. I'm going to have to pass, but I would check on Lucid again in the future. Uh, let's look at MYOV. What is that all about? MYOV. A lot of buying in there. Apparently we're going to find out. Oh, it must've gotten, it must've got uh, purchased. Okay. So that stock no longer exists. MYOV. Mielmo. Nope, it's Myovent. Yeah, so I think they got bought out. So MYOV, good, good job. Uh, Symbotics. I keep saying it wrong. S Y M. Symbotic. Symbotic. All right, forty-eight dollar stock. Um, the monthly chart looks okay. Let's see what the. They make one point one eight billion, but they lose twenty three million. So they're almost profitable. This is beautiful. This is, mm, I don't wanna say concerning. Oh, you get, this looks kind of concerning. This looks beautiful. This looks like dilution of some sort, but I, I can't, I don't know because if you go up here, you can see that there's 33 million shares available with 82 outstanding. So the amount outstanding and in increase. So uh, just going down here, I see a lot of insiders selling. I don't see any buying. It must have been from this SVF SPAC. Let's see, SVF SPAC. Yep, SVF SPAC. They purchased 500 million. Oh my God. At, a, what was the price, $28? I mean, they're up quite a bit significantly. Did they sell their position though? uh nope nope they did not meanwhile director cso have uh said peace out wow a lot of a lot of selling so that's concerning um i mean it doesn't make the stock bad it could be a good stock but we're gonna pass and i'm saying we're gonna pass because the 4p is 84 dollars the stock is decently shorted. A quarter. That's a lot of people shorting the stock. 
Um, I just don't like the insider selling that much. That's concerning to me. Uh, Occidental Petroleum, yes. I actually want to calculate the price target here. So Occidental Petroleum, I don't know if you guys are aware, I believe they own um, the rights or uh, patents to um, essentially cleaning the atmosphere. I forget what the, the word is for it. Let's just run this cap. Occidental Petroleum is profitable. Okay, let's run my numbers. So the market cap is 49 billion, 650 million with an income of 4 billion, 450 million, good for them. And they make 29 billion, 300 million a year, good for them. All right, now we're gonna add the cash that they have on hand and remove the debt. They have, this is US dollars, 1 billion in cash plus 1 billion, 1 billion, 10 million, okay. Total debt, please have like 10 to 15 billion in debt. 20 billion, good. And I only say that because this company, a company this size is gonna have debt. It's gonna have big debt. 20 billion, 327 million dollars in debt. Yeah, okay. Total assets, 74 billion. Total liabilities, 44 billion. That's almost, almost a two to one ratio. Wow, Berkshire Hathaway owns a fudge ton. A fudge ton. Wow. Wow. Okay, uh, let's go back up here and we're gonna take this and divide it by 878,150,000. Share price of $72. This is trading at 56. Analyst price target is $71.35. Insane. My calculation, which is derived from working at a micro cap company, having officials come in and essentially say every $100 million is worth $1. Uh, stock price and then market cap looking at every 1 billion in market cap is a dollar so you're probably thinking well dude 100 million and 100 million is a dollar 1 billion is a dollar like they're getting intertwined um, yeah I need to better articulate how I'm getting that but it, that is essentially my calculation so um, and I don't, I'm not a, I'm not, I don't work as a financial person, but look how dead close my price target calculation is to the analyst price target. So uh, looking at this chart, which you guys can't see because my big old head is in the way, I think we clearly have, guess which pattern I'm going to say right here. I'll give you two seconds. If you said a bull flag, you're correct. So this is what this looks like. I'm just gonna go here. I'll go here and we'll go to the bottoms. Basically, and then our flagpole. Basically, here is our flagpole. Here is our flag. The next move, can you guess? Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> All right. I have spent about 18 minutes being delusional. Go or go or don't go, whatever. I went here. Uh, this showed me a stock that I'm going to have to do more research on. Ticker symbol IHT. Do your own research as well. Occidental, Occidental, Occidental looks also very strong with all of that insider buying from Berkshire, blah, 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 Berkshire Hathaway. $72 price target. The stock is around 56. That's a good. 30-ish plus percent opportunity gap right there. So if you guys made this far, consider subscribing, consider hitting the like button or dislike, leave a comment, tell me your favorite color or tell me what you think of my calculation. <laughs> Have a great day. Great day. Have a great night or day.